Hi there, Sly Prepper here. Someone's talking about, um, they commented on one of my posts and they was talking about, you know, preppers are such easy targets to make fun of. And that's, <laughs> that is true. But the thing is, what I want to talk about is, is basically this. Why does many of us start prepping or become more conscious of things in our later years? I've talked to different ones that uh, went to a off, more of an off-grid lifestyle. And I'm not saying a totally isolated Daniel Boone. I'm not saying they're running around in buckskins. And I'm not saying they went back to all hand tools or anything like that. What I'm saying is they went more back to a off-grid lifestyle, back to basic lifestyle, whatever you want, you want to put it, in uh, their later years. Many different reasons. Among them, simple fact, the tour of duty. And basically what I mean there is uh, you worked all your life, you raised your kids, you uh, maybe an accident happened, maybe you have injuries in your body now that you didn't have before, it made you think about things a lot different. When we are younger, we're taking on the world. We have our jobs, our lives, we go party and do whatever it is you got to do. And then you, if you settle down, or even if you don't settle down, and you have children becomes part of the equation, then your life changes again. You spend so much time doing for everything else, and doing what needs to be done, or think needs to be done at the time, and then one day you wake up and like, wow, you know, something's got to change. Something's got to change here. I cannot continue this away. Used to, people had uh, good paying jobs. A lot of them did. Not everybody. When you went into a job, you got hired in, and that's just how it was. Now you have temp services. You work through a temp service. And hopefully you get hired in, if you're lucky. If you're lucky, then you got other people, other things to think about and deal with. The cost of trying to pay rent, buying a home, you can buying a home is is it. Now they want triple A credit. You want all your bills totally paid for. I want this, 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 and it's almost impossible to save money up. When you're having to pay five or six hundred dollars a month rent or more or less, plus your lights and everything else, you do not have the money to do what you need to do. You just don't. You don't have it. And uh, that's the sad thing right there. That's the sad part right there. So why does many people start prepping or become prepper lifestyle later on in their years? Bottom line is costs. Uh, bottom line, it could be the economy. Bottom line, it could be uh, they had a green. Bottom line, it could be injuries. Bottom, it could be any number of reasons. Many people who want to put things up or prepare for things that just everyday living. You, you raised up in the country, you can your food, you put your food up, and it's just everyday part of your life. Just how it is. Part of it. But there's many people, their first time canning. Right now, I'm still living in the city. I, I go out in the country as much as I can. I love the convenience of going to fast foods. I love the convenience of all of that, but I can live without it. But I find that many people that I've talked to later in years is when they finally uh, realize that they didn't want to be in those type of lifestyles anymore. They wanted some more peace. I tell people it's a working retirement is what I want. I want a working retirement. And I know in order, but the thing is, what people don't understand, going off grid, you still got to pay bills. You still got to buy supplies. You still got to do these things. So you still got to figure out how to make a living somehow, some way, some kind of income. Whether you are trapping, whether you are uh, hunting for some 
something other or whatever, whether you're selling vegetables, whether you're making clothes to sell, whether you are setting up flea markets or whatever it is, you still have to have some kind of money coming in in order to survive. I mean, it's just how it is. There's no total off-grid living. I am looking at options to make more crafts. I'm looking at the options of traveling to sell crafts. Do I enjoy the idea of traveling somewhere? No. But I know I'm going to have to pay good money to set up at a good show. And that's five or $600 in a whack, not counting hotel bills and everything. Or I can go to these little show, craft shows and pay 40 or $50 to set up. And maybe 200 people show up that day. Or 300 or maybe not even that much. And I might make, if I'm lucky, to cover my booth. But I don't. So I could either do a bunch of ones, small ones, or I could do one big one. But either way, I still got to pay bills. But many people usually realize things as they get older. They say as you get older, you get wiser. Well, maybe that's it. As you get older, many people realize going back to prepping styles or back to basic styles is something they need to do. The income's not there anymore. The kids are grown out the door. Don't mean they're going to be around. Many of them have to go out of state to live. Things change. There's no such thing. Many people have to have part-time jobs, even with their Social Security, even with their disability. Many of them work two or three jobs. you got the temp services controlling everything now. So it's changed. But for most people, they wake up in later years realizing they've got to change their lifestyle in order to survive in a survival situation. So we've always prepped all, every day of your life you're prepping. Whether it's to pay your bills, whether it's to take care of your children, whatever it is. But many people choose to go on a more uh, back-to-basis lifestyle as they get older. Just how it is. Uh, my point of view may not be yours, but it is mine. So this is Life Prepper here saying be safe, be happy. Bless y'all.